Hi everyone, I'm Gina and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going back to my ephemera series for a tutorial on how to make altered paper clips. These are so cute and so easy to make. I thought I'd stop and take a moment and just show you how to make these. They're a great addition to your journals. They're great for just being a separate piece of ephemera by themselves because they are so cute. And you can also use them to hold other items that you might want to include uh, that you can tuck under there. These can also be used as a bookmark. There are just a wide variety of uses for these. So whether you're crafty or not, maybe you just want to make something special for a friend or yourself, whatever you want to do. I hope you'll join me today as I show you how to make two altered paper clips. One will be round and one will be a rectangle. And for those of you who stick around, there is a bonus item at the end. I hope you'll join me. Let's get started. I thought we'd start out with the round one first. I actually have not done a round one yet, so I thought that might be fun to do to get started. Now, to come up with these, the paper I used was actually from the November limited edition kit from my creative scrapbook, and I used my two inch hole punch. And what it was was one of the pieces of paper had these little wreaths, and I flipped my hole punch over. I just tried to line it up and then punch this way. And that's how I got this. And I just, this is also from the limited edition kit, and I it, I just punched a two inch uh, circle. So since I used a punch, I know that they match up exactly and that's very helpful. <laughs> Otherwise, if you're gonna fussy cut, then just do your best. Uh, maybe you wanna trace around something or uh, just do your best to try to make them match. If not, honestly, I don't think it's that big a deal because we're going to ink these. Let's go ahead and do that first. I'm actually going to ink these um, twice with two different inks. I thought I would add a little bit of the aged mahogany. And I'm just going to add that a little bit just on the, like the outside of where those berries are. Like just around the edge of the wreath. I just thought it might give it just a little bit of something extra. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> just a little bit of color. Why not? Okay, so there we go. Just a little bit of color. And now I'm going to go back and ink the very edge with the Distressed Archival ink in a vintage photo. And that just darkens it a little bit. And this is what most people use when they ink when making ephemera. But, you know, I don't know. I just thought I would add the, the little bit of the reddish color just to kind of give it a little bit more interest. I think it's pretty. Okay. So there we go. For a reason, this side looks a little light. Okay. <laughs> That's it for that. Now here's how you go about attaching it to your paper clip. Now, this one I made, and possibly this one too, yeah, I made with the longer piece sticking out. However, you can do them either way, but depending on how big the piece is that you're attaching, I find that it sometimes works better because these aren't very big. As you can see, you know, it it goes all, this one especially, goes almost all the way to the end, which can kind of make it difficult to attach. So I want to use, um, which actually that is the right way. So I want the back, the part that I'm going to actually clip, to be the little smaller piece, because what that does is give me all this room to, it gives me like a lip to catch on, and then I can push it down. So, you know, that's, just what I found tends to work better and make it easier. When I put this one on, see, I don't have very much room. And sometimes it takes me a second. So I thought going forward, that just might be something to be aware of. So since I want this to be the, the shorter part to be the part that I'm actually going to clip on, this is how I did the back piece. 
So the part you want to clip on needs to be in the very back. Okay, so this is going to be my front. And this is the piece I'm going to cover. What I'm going to do is cover it just like this. Now, I like to try to cover this little top piece of the silver paper clip. Now you can buy paper clips that have a coating on them and they can be a variety of colors and that would be awesome. You wouldn't have to really worry about it. But I want to try to cover it. <laughs> As you can see, um, I just use a little piece of cheesecloth here and I use a little ribbon here. For this one, I thought I would try something else. Okay, I was going to be um, fancy and try to have my little piece uh, pull sticking out and wrap it all the way around with one piece. That got complicated, so let's just keep it simple. <laughs> so I'm going to have two separate pieces, and I will go ahead and cover this first. So this is probably a little bit longer than what I need, but that's okay. I can trim it when I'm done. So I'll push it in. And I'll put these in there and just pull it up like that. There you go. Quick and easy and it pretty much covers the top. So I'm going to stick this back on and I want it on like this. Get this lined up with, you know, with my design which is wood. Okay. Okay, so I am going to add the lace. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to use um, my art glitter glue. I probably should, should get some, what is the name of that stuff that you, you attach cloth um, or fabric with? Um, I can't think of the name of it now, but I know I see people use it. I probably should get some of that. This is what I used on the other ones, but it might take a little bit extra long to adhere. But that's okay. okay. All right. So I want a little bit to stick out over the edge. So let's see, where's my front? This is the front. Okay, so I'm just gonna start here. And go around the edge. Let's see, it seems to be sticking okay. Fabri-Tac. <laughs> Sorry, I just remember the name of that stuff. Because I know that very much like this art glitter glue, it grabs really quickly, so it'll stay put. Um, that might be actually better to use for this lace than what I'm doing now with my art glitter glue, but this does seem to be working okay. So, if you have art glitter glue, then that should work for you. Okay, push that down like that, and I will clip off the extra. Let's be careful. put a little bit more glue under that to make sure it sticks down. All right, so assuming that's going to stay put, now I just need to add my top piece. Now you can use hot glue, which I think is probably what most people do use, but I'm going uh, against the grain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the salmon swimming upstream, going against the flow, and doing something different. Okay, so that's about what I want to do. So now I'm going to uh, add the glue to adhere the top piece. And I'm adding a little bit more than I normally do. You also want to glue down your paper clip as well. Again, hot glue probably would be the easiest thing to use. 
Now that I've got my glue on, I'm going to add my top layer. Like so. Let's do it like this. Be still. Be still now. Okay. Let's see if that's even. That's even for the most part. <laughs> We're going to go with it. Normally you don't have a lot of time with this glue to maneuver and kind of move your piece around. But since it takes a little bit longer to dry on this um, ribbon, it actually gives me a little bit of time to play with it. Let's see if I can't get it straight. Check the back to make sure I haven't messed something up. Okay, this needs to go in a little bit and this needs to come out a little bit. All right, so I'm going to let this dry and I might come back and fool with it just a little bit at the end, but I kind of want to let it sit and um, it in here before I mess with it anymore. In case you're wondering, here is the lace that I used. I got this, it was a dollar and I'm trying to think of where I got it. I've had it for quite a while. Um, I wish I would have bought more. Isn't it just so pretty? It's very, I don't know, sorry, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> It's just kind of pretty and delicate, but it's, you know, thick and sturdy as well. Um, just a dollar. I wish I would have grabbed more. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to this one. Now, the image I'm using comes out of this um, book, Old World Winter. And it's from the Paper Studio. And here's the number, if that helps you. But I just love these papers. They are just so pretty. And I didn't have a whole lot of Christmas paper. So I grabbed this. And this does have actually a couple of pages that, um, that you can cut out. Here's one. And here's the other one. And this is the one that I cut up and... Um, and used or, or we well it's also the one I used for this as you can see right here but it's also where I got the image we're going to uh, use today but here is another one as well and it looks like the same images it just has the red background as opposed to just you know the plain kind of off-white so the first thing I'm going to do is to use my corner punch and um, soften up those corners. Okay, and now we're going to ink. Okay, so we will ink the edges. Again, this is the uh, Distressed Archival Ink in Vintage Photo. So I'm going to... Be very liberal in my amount that I'm adding. I'm going to get the edges, but I'm fine if it, you know, goes into, you know, the side of the picture as well. That's fine. I like that it looks really aged, vintage. <laughs> I think that's a really cool look. Okay. I will go ahead and do the back as well. Again, it's that same paper from the one before. So we'll corner punch the edges of this as well. I'm going to get my ink out again. And we'll ink around this as well. Okay, now you don't have to have a decorative paper for the back. I mean, it could just be plain white paper. It could be just whatever. But, you know, I thought I might as well make it pretty because generally the back will be seen. So, you know, you might as well put something pretty underneath so that they can see. And this one actually, you know, you have options here. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. <laughs> Okay, so this one again, I think I'm going to make the shorter part 
um, open to attach. That gives me the nice long lip to be able to feed in um, when I want to clip it on. And this one will go over top like this. Now, for this I brought in a different kind of lace, well, ribbon. And this is what I'm using. It's from the Paper Studio uh, ribbon, and here's the number up here. Okay. And for this, I kind of just wanted to keep it simple. I wanted to have a couple come out at the bottom. So I cut two pieces to adhere for that. And there actually is a front and back to these. Let me see. That looks like the back. And I want the little scalloped edges out. So again, I'm just going to glue that down. Here's where Fabri-Tac would come in handy or uh, hot glue. Again, that would work. But not me. <laughs> I'm using my art glitter glue because I'm addicted to it. Okay. I'll go ahead and put a little bit here too so that um, they attach to each other. Just to be safe. Okay. I might want to put some up here too. All right, well, that's drying. Let's figure out the top. Uh, I think, looks like I'm trying to remember what I had in mind. I think I was going to fold this over in half. I think I was just going to leave it like that. But you know what? Now I'm looking at it, I don't like that. I'm not sure what I was thinking, but I don't like it. Let's just cut another piece and do like we did last time. Because that is just easy peasy. So we might as well just keep it simple. We'll put this through here. a pokey tool <laughs> and then we'll feed feed these through there's one do I have both I don't think I have both where's my other one there it is that was hiding Now we just have to glue on the top. Like this. And yeah, I thought I put too much glue on it. Here, sorry. So I'm going to squeeze it together to push the glue out. It's always good to flip it over. See, I was not quite straight. Let's see if I have time to adjust it, and I do. Just barely. Okay. Back to the front. <laughs> I've got glue coming out everywhere. <laughs> it's funny the things that happen when you record. I did not have near this kind of uh, trouble fumbling and bumbling when I made the other ones. It was just straightforward super easy <laughs> but of course I'm filming and I'm having all kinds of difficulty but anyway um all right now this is a little bit white and so I think I want to ink these up just a little bit and I might not even just let's just see what's on my dauber still because I don't you know I don't want to necessarily put a ton but I just kind of want to tone down the bright whiteness <laughs> just kind of doesn't go with the rest of it so we will tone it down just a little bit 
just a little bit. Okay. Again, make it look a little bit worn, a little bit aged. Like it's been around for many years. I still got glue on my fingers. I've got the ink on and now I think I want to add just a little bit of glue inside this little knot right here. I don't think it's going to go anywhere because a lot would have to happen for both of those pieces to come out. <laughs> but, you know, it doesn't hurt. Just to add a little bit of glue. And there we go. That's pretty much it for this one. Let's take a look at the other one and see how it's doing. All right, I think we are stuck on there. Seems to be sticking. But again, we have the same problem that we did with um, the other ribbon. It just looks a little too white compared to all the inking that I did on my paper. So I'm gonna go back and ink over the lace or trim, ribbon, whatever you call it. Now, of course, you know, these things can be done before you attach them. <laughs> Might make it easier. But, you know, if you don't, if you forget, you can still do it. That's all right. It's no big deal. I am going to try to be a little careful because I'm not sure it's 100% dry. Um, actually, I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> so, I think it's gripped. I think it's stuck on. Um, fairly well but I just don't want to push my luck okay the only other thing I would do to this is I would put a little bit of Mod Podge or glue on the ends just so it doesn't fray too much now I left these really long <laughs> way longer than um, I did on the first ones that I made but you know, for now, it's fine. I can always go back and trim them later if, you know, when I go to add it to my journal, which is kind of my plan, um, I can go back and trim them to whatever size I think it needs to be and then just come back and add a little bit more glue on the ends. But, you know, you might want to leave it a little bit longer if it's going to be a bookmark. So, you know... Oh gosh, no, I got glue on it. <laughs> ah, and there we go. Here are our two altered paper clips that we made today. Like I said, I left um, I left the trim really long on these, as you can see compared to <laughs> compared to the first ones I made, which I do like them smaller too. And chances are they will be trimmed down. Um, but that's fine. But I just wanted to show you something different, uh, you know, just different options for you to use. Now, if you are still with me, I do have a bonus item that I'm going to make. So let's do that now. <clears throat> okay, here's the bonus part. After I had made my first ones, I, um, you know, I was attaching them and admiring them, and I realized, um, you know, wow, you know, there's still like this big clip on the other side, and that's, you know, I don't really like that either. You know, that's not cool. <laughs> So I didn't like how that looked, and I was trying to think of a way to cover it up. This is very basic, very simple, and I'm sure there are a million ways you can cover it up. This is just one. I cut two pieces of paper and, you know, turned them to the same size. 
and I'm just going to glue around. Now there's a couple of different things you can do. You can glue around all three sides and have it closed, but what I thought I would do is to leave both sides open. Let me see if I can get this to line up. Because paper to paper this glue does work quickly. <laughs> uh, come on. Okay. Again, I've got glue everywhere. That's how I roll. Okay. Okay. Let's make sure I can get in it. I was a little uneven there, but that's okay. Gives me something to slip in to make sure it's open. And I want to put something down in there. That's a little might be a little bit too wide for this. Let me find something else. Okay. This is some super heavy cardstock. So let me see if I can slip that in. Okay. Okay. There you go. All right. So once you get it to open up a little bit, now all you can do is just slip it in over your piece of paper clip. <clears throat> yeah. It's decorative, but now you've also created a pocket. So you can also decorate this side. Get that in here like this and you know you can feel your paper clip but you just kind of keep pushing around and you can work around it so I have that you know, maybe I can glue this you know? and now you've got a cute little decoration on this side so there you go I just, you know, like I said, if you use the colored paper clips, then it probably won't be as bad. Or you know what? Maybe it doesn't even bother you, especially if you're working on a piece with a lot of silver, because, you know, that's what these are, silver, and it may go very well with what you're doing. But for me, it just stood out like a sore thumb, so I wanted to try to figure out a way to cover it. And that's what I came up with. So there you go. That's your little bonus item. You can pull it out. And look, it, it stays on. You can actually come down here if you really want to make it permanent. You know, you can come down here and add a little bit of glue in between the pieces of paper and glue it so that it stays that way. But, you know, otherwise you can just make up a bunch of these little bitty slip covers, I guess is what they are. And um, you can just put them on as you see fit. Especially if you make it close to the size of the paper clip, it makes it really snug. So... You know, and you can go ahead and continue to paper clip. Um, I'm sorry, you can go ahead and continue to use them even with it on. It gives you even a longer lip. So there you go. You've got this on one side, and then you've got this decorative piece on the other. Pretty cool. Just to give it a completed look, I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges of it as well. Everything else is inked, so <laughs> we might as well ink this little guy too so that he is part of the family and you can do both sides this paper that I'm using is just plain white on the back side there's not another print so it, you know it might be a good thing to do if you use paper like that so there you go quick and easy you can make them simple and basic or you can make them elaborate these are made to look older but you could certainly do this and make it blingy with sequins and sparkles and glitter <laughs> so i mean you know it's just totally up to you your imagination is your only limit i always have pictures at the end so make sure you stick around and you can get a close-up view of what we've made today so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you try this. If you try to make one, make sure you hashtag me the, at the Artful Addict. I would love to see what you come up with because the sky's the limit. Thank you for joining me. 
I'd love a thumbs up and if you haven't checked out my channel take a moment and pop around and check out some other videos and if you like what you see hit that subscribe button I try my best to put out content twice a week if life permits that's always my goal I hope you find something of interest on my channel if you don't see what you like then hey leave me a comment under one of the videos and give me a suggestion I'd be glad to hear from you so that's it for today guys Thanks a lot, and you all have a great day. Bye.